lot of patients tell me that they wake up in the morning with uh, stiffness and pain. So a couple of things about that is basically, if you wake up in the morning with stiffness, first you might have a problem with low back pain, that's obvious. Second of all, you might have a problem with your mattress. So maybe your mattress is old, maybe you need to turn it uh, you know, this way, maybe you need to flip it over, okay? Because if the mattress is about, it's coming to that 10 year old mark, you know, it might be something, uh, it's just the springs are not the same as they used to be, so they're not providing the same support that uh, you guys, uh, that we need for our backs. So um, uh, basically what we need is we need to change the mattress, to flip it around, change it, turn it over, you know, so that because you should be waking up in the morning feeling good. You know, you should be refreshed, you should have slept, whatever, if you sleep for six to seven to eight hours. Now the new research says that we don't have to sleep for eight hours. You know, some people feel good for six hours. So, uh, but if you're still waking up and your mattress is fine and your mattress is new and everything is okay, then maybe obviously there's some sort of problem with your low back. So these are some things that you can do. This is just a little uh, warm up, a little stretch routine that you can do in the evening before you go to sleep to feel better in the morning, all right? So let's go through it. So the first thing, obviously, this is your regular hamstring stretch, okay? So uh, the hamstring stretch is basically, you're gonna sit like this here, uh, straight leg in a piston, it's called, uh, you know, a piston position. So we're just gonna sit here like this, we're gonna take our knee, press to the ground like that, bring it in forward, See, I'm, I'm pretty flexible because I do stretches on a continuous basis all the time. So I'm able to touch my toes. Not everybody can touch their toes. So what you want to do is you want to sit up straight like this. Keep your back, don't round your back. You want to keep your back as straight as you can and just start bending forward with your straight back. So because I can touch my toes already easy enough, I'm just leaning forward be, you know, beyond my toes. And the key with the stretches is what we want to do is we want to breathe into the nose and breathe out nice, steady and slow. So already I'm on my second breath, but I'm already feeling how I'm relaxed. I'm, my muscles are becoming relaxed and I'm able to go further and further, okay? I'm able to grab my foot like this and now put up a little more pressure. Now I'm not going up, notice, I'm not going back. You know, a lot of people start doing these or they go back, no, don't do that. Just stay here in this position and just keep going forward more. So that's the hamstring stretch. And I feel it in the hamstring, I feel it behind my knee, and I feel it here in my calf and my um, in my calf muscles, my gastric and my soleus muscles, okay? So it's normal to feel it all along the way. Then I'm gonna go to the other side and do the same thing on the other side, okay? Second, so I'm gonna stretch my quad muscles, okay? Quad muscles, we're walking, we're sitting, we have to stretch the quad muscles. So the stretch goes something like this. We're gonna sit, I'm gonna switch this a little bit like that. Okay. We're gonna sit here, we're gonna bring this back like this. Okay, now I'm bending here. So for some people, even this position alone is already gonna be uncomfortable. Okay, that's 100%. So sometimes you just may be here and you're already feeling an intense stretch here. I don't, so what I'm gonna first do is I'm gonna go on the other side, the contralateral side of my elbow like this here, and here I begin to feel a little bit of a stretch in this, in my left quad, my left thigh muscle, okay? So I'm gonna stay here and take a deep breath in. Take a longer deep breath out. Beginning to feel that stretch. Beginning to loosen it up. Again, I'm a little bit flexible because I do this on a weekly basis. Let's say if you do this once a week for 10 to 15 minutes, you're good. But if you're feeling stiffness in the morning, you wanna be doing this every single evening. So now I'm gonna take my left elbow and I'm gonna bring it down also. This is an intensifying my stretch. Then in this position again, I'm gonna take a deep breath in. And breathe out. that and I feel the stretch is, is intensifying especially here right by the knee area okay so now I feel a little bit more relaxed now if you're feeling if you don't feel that you can go any further stay here if you can stay here stay here if you need to stay here stay here just keep breathing in and out in and out you're doing it you can do it for a little bit longer than I'm doing it and eventually it's gonna start uh, getting it's gonna start loosening up 
So sometimes I need to do the left and the right and then go back to the left and again to the right. And for the second time around, that's when I really start feeling the stretch. So, but I feel really loose and I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go all the way down on my back, okay? Adjust myself a little bit now and I feel, I'm feeling the stretch really, really intense, okay? And I'm gonna breathe in, breathe out. And that feels really good. And I'm just gonna stay here for a little bit. And then I will stay here for longer, but I'm gonna come back up, okay? And this is a great quad stretch and I'm gonna go back and I'm going to do the other side, okay? Now, next, we're going to skip over to the next stretch. Okay, so the next stretch is going to be the, the stretch that I used to do all the time when I used to go for kickboxing. It's the stretch where we get into this position here, okay? We're just going to stay here, okay? So what I'm doing now, I feel a lot of stretching going on here because I haven't done this particular stretch in a while. So I'm feeling it here, but it's really stretching this, the adductor compartment. Some of the hamstring, but mostly the adductor compartment. So what I do to intensify the stretch is I'm gonna put my hands on the floor and I'm gonna lean back. So now this adds a good stretch in my low back and I'm feeling it in my adductor even more. And I'm just leaning back, sitting back, breathing in. Nice deep breath out. Breathing in. Nice deep breath out. And that feels awesome. And I'm just gonna go back. And I'm gonna switch over to this side. And do that. And this is a must because I haven't done this in a long time, so I'm gonna do both sides. And just put my hands on the floor and lean back. Oh, that just feels, that feels great right in my back. Right in my lower back right here, that feels great, but I'm getting this is the stretch and that together when I'm leaning back, okay? So this, the whole point of this is to do this before you go to bed, okay? This is for stiffness in the morning. If you do this before you go to bed, it takes about 10 to 15 minutes. We're doing it once over from both sides and then we're repeating it one more time. That's all you need. Two times, everything twice, okay? That's good, so now we've done that. So now from here, what I recommend to do is, I'm gonna run. Get a chair, okay? I'm gonna get a chair. And what we're gonna do, is we're gonna find a, take my socks off, cause I don't need them. We're gonna do another adductive stretch. With this stretch, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, Put myself as much as I can, open up my legs as much as I can this way, okay? I'm putting my elbows on the chair, it can be a sofa, it can be anything else, and I'm just lowering myself down, okay? The reason that I'm doing a bare feet on this floor is because I have grip. I don't want my feet to slide out, okay? So now I'm able to control. So now I'm here, it's nice, and I'm just leaning back. Now I feel the stretch is very intense. It's right in here, it's the adductor compartment. These muscles, get very tight a lot of times and I'm also feeling the stretch here which is great because this is just an added bonus okay and I'm just staying here to get your breath in and out and that's good right there okay okay so that's what we did today, okay? So today what we did is we did the hamstring stretch, okay? The quad stretch. We did the hamstring stretch, the quad, the hamstring stretch, the quad stretch, and the um, two adductor stretches, okay? These three muscles are a must to be stretched before you go to bed if you have low back uh, stiffness in the morning. And you, you might, some of you might ask me, why, why are we stretching our legs? What do the legs have to do with our low back? Well, the reason being is that what's going on, all of these muscles, the hamstrings, the quads, and the adductors, they're all connected to the pelvis, okay? And the pelvis bones are located here, okay? These are all our pelvic bones, okay? Where our, our butt muscles are, we're sitting on them all day, okay? So now, 
these muscles when they're tight, they tend to put the pelvis in a different position. They tend to tilt the pelvis, and this, not the low back muscles, are connected onto the pelvis right here into the back of the pelvis, right? So now what happens is that if this muscle is tight, it's gonna shift the pelvis down, it's gonna bring it down by making it, because it's tight, it's gonna bring it down. Now that's gonna elongate the muscles of the low back and it's gonna make them tight and it's gonna give them pain. Now if these muscles are tight, they're gonna shift this way, okay? And it's gonna give you hyperextension. So that's gonna put unwanted pressure on uh, vertebrae like L4, L5, L5S1, so we don't want that. And the same thing goes for when these muscles are tight, they're putting unneeded pressure on our hip bones, and they're squeezing those hips together. We want flexibility in our hips. When we're walking up and down the stairs, when we are just walking fast, or whether we have to run across the street, we want flexibility in our steps, okay? Uh, that's it for today. Please subscribe to my channel, and there'll be more useful videos to come. Uh, thank you guys, have a great day.